Hi everyone, my name is Nick and today is my last full day in this apartment. So I have been packing up, I'm sure right behind me doesn't look like I've been packing much, but if you can see behind me here, I have a bunch of boxes and I'm starting to get a bunch of stuff on the floor packed up. So I'm gonna share with you guys, how am I even considering moving 500 plants? I know it's a lot. I was a lot less stressed about it when I filmed my I'm moving video. I'm definitely a lot more stressed about it now, but I know that it's going to get done. It's just obviously a lot packing them all up. I admittedly thought I was probably going to be able to fit a, a little bit more, uh, a couple more plants in each box that I'm packing, but it's becoming apparent that I'm not able to fit as many as I thought. So it's a lot more boxes than I thought. I actually right now have to run out and get more tape because I ran out from packing so many boxes full of plants. Uh, but before I do that, I kind of want to show you what I'm doing. If we head over into my bedroom, we have a muffin snacking away. Oh, she's spooked. Um, but you can see I'm packing up my shelves. They're almost done being packed. And I'm putting a lot of my plants in boxes that I've cut down to be trays. This is how I typically got my plants delivered to me when I worked at the plant store. So I'm kind of channeling that and I figured that would be a great way to move some of my smaller plants. And I'm putting some of my um, more medium sized plants with like the, the moss poles and stuff inside actual boxes that are just normal height. My friend brought me a bunch of Chick-fil-A boxes, which is kind of funny. But yeah, I'm still obviously packing. I will not be moving anything inside the glass. That will be probably the last plants I pack up because they're so used to their humidity. But moving them in the glass would be a nightmare. I have a lot more packing to do. As I mentioned, I have plenty more boxes, but I have to go get more tape. But if we go down the hallway a little bit, you can see how I have a couple more boxes that are just full of plants. Here's an aglaonema and a hoya and a fern. And this one's full of philodendrons, <laughs> literally full to the brim of philodendrons. It's kind of fun to see. Same with this one. A lot of interesting plants. And you can start to tell that the home is starting to get dissected. This is another really interesting way that I am uh, packaging my plants. So I have actually all of these boxes full of plants. I don't know if you can really see. So there's three crates and these ones, they're not getting crushed. I just chose plants that aren't going to like be higher than the top of the box. Unlike this one that I'm gonna have on top, I'm allowing them to poke out. So this is a great way that I'm moving like at least like 30, if not more plants inside just three crates that stack up on each other. And I don't really have to worry about the plants underneath getting broken. Of course I will have to, you know, be mindful of these little leaflets poking out, but I'm moving a couple leaf breaking and stems breaking here and there is not something to not be expected. So yeah, it's starting to clear out. I guess if I pan up there, it still shows how much work I have to do. But yeah, this is the beginning of it. And it's it's going well, I would like to say, but I still I still have a lot more work to do. So I better get back at it. I have been packing all day. It's like 3 p.m. So the day is over halfway over, but I still have a lot to do. I've taken one trellis down. I still have to take the other trellis down. I think I'm going to have to chop the raffidophora, but I've been clearing off the windowsills. Let me just turn the camera around real quick. This one in particular is looking very empty. Although the trailing plants are all still up, that's probably going to be the last thing that I am taking down. So it's still looking rather full, but I've just been packing away. You can see these boxes are all full of plants, even though each one I'm really only able to fit like six plants inside, but I guess this is the way it's going to be. It's definitely not going to be all of the plants there tomorrow. I'll probably have, hopefully, honestly at this rate, hopefully at least 50% of them there tomorrow, but I do have this place for a little bit longer after I move out, so I will be able to come back and clean up. Of course, I'm not going to be cleaning it all tomorrow. And, you know, patch up all the holes in the walls. I have plenty of shelves that are going to come with me and I'm gonna have to come back and clean all that up. But, oh, it's looking like I should probably focus on this area now because I feel like this looks like I literally haven't touched anything. It still looks like my apartment in this frame, but it's time to get back to it. When it comes to packing my trailing house plants, I really just take all their vines and just flip them up on top like I did here. Sometimes if they're super long, I'll like wrap them around the pot like my syndapsis and pothos, but some of the more fragile ones like this Calanchoe and Flora and you know, my Hoyas and String of Pearls and those kind of plants, I just flip them up exactly like this so that they just literally fill up the pot and it's so much easier to put in a bag or a box and get them over to my new place. I'm pretty much done packing. It's looking a lot more empty in here compared to what it did earlier. And I was able to get a couple 
of the box so the plants that I can just close the box and stack them. So that's a lot easier than a lot of these ones that have the taller plants sticking out, but that's about it for today. And then it's time to get ready to move tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you don't already follow me on Instagram at Philly Foliage, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great day.